Hello everybody and welcome to Introduction to Geometry Nodes, which is my series where I'm going to teach you how to use geometry nodes from knowing nothing, the very beginning, all the way to getting to an advanced kind of knowledge of it. And I'm going to show you every step along the way to get there. So, uh, so far you've seen part zero, where I showed you what geometry nodes is, it's a modifier, and then in part one I showed you how to make your very first and simple uh, geonodes modifier that turns anything into a sphere. And we got a bit more complicated saying we can apply different geonode uh, groups to different objects and all, and all this. But uh, in this part, I want to slow it down a little. I know we haven't been going that fast. I want to slow it down a little and show you how I do some of the fancy uh, keyboard shortcuts uh, that you are going to be see seeing a lot in this tutorial series because it it's going to speed up your workflow. And then from this point on, we're going to start building more and more complicated modifiers. So uh, I'm going to enable Blender over here, make my window a bit smaller, and show you how to do the do. So. Uh, this is basically the scene that we ended with last time. It's a geonode group uh, that takes the input, uh, which would have been here. I just deleted it and said make it into a sphere. Again, if you remember, we have our group input. Um, in this case, I had a cube, and I said get rid of this, just show a sphere. A sphere. Um, but notice as I'm doing this, I'm uh, either disconnecting and connecting manually, or what's much faster is I can sever a connection and make a connection and sever it, and I'm using these shortcuts, okay? Uh, you can even get fancy and add a reroute node, which lets me very quickly swap between these. So this is why I wanna show you this. You can even get fancy and there's some commands that lets you join certain uh, um, meshes. So here we have a sphere that I'm gonna move to the side, and I join it with my cube. Uh, this is a quick command, so I could either say this one, this one, or both of them. I want to show you some of these commands. So, uh, first thing first, and I showed you how to do this in part zero, make sure you have Node Wrangler enabled. So go to Edit Preferences, go to Add-ons, type in Node Wrangler. If this is not enabled, enable it. What this is going to do is it's going to let us do the shortcut. So here's everything you need to know. To sever a connection, you hold Control and then you right-click drag. So Control plus right-click drag. Uh, to make a connection, on the other hand, you Alt plus right-click drag. So the only difference here is one time I'm using control and right click dragging to sever. And you could, uh, by the way, um, if you have multiple connections, you can control right click drag over a bunch of connections and sever them. So control right click drag to sever a connection and alt right click drag to make a connection. Notice that I'm hovering over the first node when I'm alt right click dragging and going to the second node that gets highlighted. highlighted and that's how it notes to make a connection. So in this sense, we can either have a cube, that's the original group input, practice severing that using a sphere, or practice severing that uh, using the transformed sphere that's off to the side, practice severing that. So again, alt right click to join, control right click to sever. Um, another one that's pretty useful, it's not very clear why yet, um, but let's say we wanted to swap between this one and this one, notice each time I have to cut, it's taking a while. Um, I can't just do an alt right click drag here. You can see it doesn't allow it because it only has one green socket available and it's already taken. So I have to free it up and then, you know, do this. Uh, one thing you can do is you can add a reroute node, which you can actually type out right here. It's just a dot that we can connect as an intermediary. Uh, but the nice thing about this is if you shift right click drag. So again, we have alt control and now shift right click drag is going to make a reroute node. The nice thing about this is it lets you hot swap uh, between them. Okay. Uh, you could add a reroute here and reroutes don't really do anything to your network. They just kind of clean it up. So I could say, Oh, my connection goes all the way here, but it's the same thing. Really shift right click drag does that. Uh, finally, Finally, uh, to join things, as in have two meshes at the same time, you can either add a join geometry node, which is a node. What it does is it takes a bunch of inputs like our cube, and let's actually preview this, our cube, our moved sphere, and you can actually just keep adding things to this. Uh, you're not gonna see this other sphere because it's centered and it's kind of canceled by the sphere. So if I move this up, you can now see we have uh, three things over here. We have our uh, original sphere, or sorry, our original input, which is a cube. We have our sphere that we moved up. So we're transforming it up on the Z axis, we're joining it, and then we're doing the same thing for another sphere. Uh, so join, did I say how to do it? Uh, to join, you hold control and shift, and then you right click drag. So it's not control, it's not shift, it's not alt, it's control plus shift, and then alt right click drag for this. 
Okay, so basic review. A uh, Yave connection. To sever it, control, right click, drag. To form it, alt, right click, drag. To add a reroute, shift, right click, drag. And, to, and then to join, control plus shift, uh, right click, drag. So it's basically control, alt, or shift, or some combination, plus right click, drag. And that is going to uh, speed up your workflow a lot uh, in the future. Maybe I'll mention it a couple times, but when I'm like doing stuff like this and I'm severing and I'm hot swapping and all this, um, and there, by the way, there are like fancy commands that I forget exactly how to do. Like you can do this blue highlighted one. Don't worry, I'm not gonna use it, so I'm not gonna talk about it. Um, when I use these fancy commands, I'm gonna talk about them a little, but that's just gonna be background knowledge at this point, okay? So let's um, close out over here. So what did we learn in this uh, tutorial part two? Um, I showed you how to do the uh, Node Wrangler. That's an add-on fast uh, keyboard shortcuts. Um, and we reviewed that uh, very, very plentifully. Um, but it's going to be important. So uh, coming up in part three, we are going to be talking about, now that we know kind of, I introduced the Join Geometry node. Uh, what we're going to talk about is how to move and join objects. And then uh, I think in the next part after that, we're going to build a snowman. And that's going to be the end of level one. So thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next part.